Known as man's best friend, dogs really do have a hard time in life. Some dogs have to wait a few years, some have to wait quite a long time. How about seven years? Seven years is a long time. I'm going to share this story from the Good News Hub about an overlooked rescue dog adopted after seven years thanks to a lot of love and a twist of fate to it. Let's read into it, you guys. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, this is Regan Lee here with an article from the Good News Hub with the headline that a sheltered star, an overlooked rescue dog, adopted after seven years thanks to a lot of love and the twist of fate. As you guys know, man's best friend, as they like to call it, dogs can be seen as not just an animal, not just as a pet, but a family member, a side companion, a someone that is there for you when you need them the most. Sometimes a dog and an animal can be seen as more loving and more caring and more reliable to you than any human being in the world. And for some sheltered animals, it can take a few months, some can take a few years, but some can go as long as seven years or even one longer than that that we have shared here on the Good Vibes storylines before. And I think sometimes, you know, everybody can find their own, find their own companion uh, if time persists yet yeah, to it, but let's have a look into how this uh, how this uh, dog who was how in after seven years finally found its home, guys. After patiently waiting seven years at the Animal Resource Center, the R A R C shelter in Pennsylvania, USA, a rescue dog called Ella had been adopted. What's more, there's a sense of fate to this story. Ella was the, last, was the shelter's longest resident, having spent almost her entire life at the shelter. When she was brought in as a skinny five-month-year-old stray pit bull puppy, over the years Ella has been returned to the shelter at least three times. So three times she's been brought back, guys. That's really shameful. Local Pennsylvania resident Kayleen saw Ella's profile and story online and emailed the shelter expressing an interest in meeting Keller. Kaylin's previous uh, dog, Joe, had passed away a few months earlier, and while she missed her former companion terribly, after seeing it, she decided to want to give Ella a home. Tori Johnson is a staff member at the Animal Resource Centre and saw firsthand the bond between Kaylin and Ella. He said, when Ella first met Kathleen, we think we already knew this was my person. Ella is a dog that has, that has fear, aggression, and needs multiple visits for her to get comfortable with you, not just with Caitlin. Ella walked over to Caitlin with no hesitation and allowed her to pet and scratch her straight away. Tori Johnson also witnessed Caitlin crying when she was fixated on Ella's neck. Caitlin eventually pulled up a photo of her late dog Joe on her phone who was wearing the same bandana as Ella had on now. The bandana belongs to Joe. I donate them all here when he passed, Caitlin told the shelter staff. Oh, look at his face. They're so lovely. The two of them there together. Caitlin with Ella, the rescued dog, who was wearing an orange bandana that once belonged to Caitlin's late dogs. That's lovely. They have to hold the memory of, of the previous uh, dog that you loved as well. That's very nice. None of the staff of the shelter could believe that out of the 20 dogs at the shelter, Ella was the one who ended up wearing Joe's bandana. Caitlin... I'm far from saying it right. Calendars told the shelter staff, I'd like to think it is one of Joe's stamp of approval, knowing what it meant to be. Later that day, Keller and Ella went home all together. Although the ARC staff would miss Ella, they were ecstatic that she got a well-deserved happy ending. We'll miss that tomorrow, such as a bittersweet moment when realising as we pause to reflect on a few of our favourite times with Ella, but my goodness, the amount of pure happiness we will feel every day knowing Ella's finally got what she deserves. Ella got adopted, as they said on their Facebook page. Ha ha ha. You see, it's been such a long time for her, and they finally gave her a home. How awesome is that, guys? You know, it is really sad that when some dogs who spend their entire lives in the shelter and never get adopted, I think that's a horrible feeling. 
but when they when some do can get shell get finally get their shell tan i think it's a wonderful wonderful thing um i know dogs are easy ones to talk about i know guys but um you know seven years is a long time for an animal um it's a big huge chunk of their life so it's great that they that the dog finally had a home this by the way was a this uh, article was was posted on the 25th of november just for reference guys so uh hopefully um all things are good and the dog is happy and healthy as as, as she is too so what do you guys make of this lovely story? Let me know what you guys honestly think in the comments section down below. Like, share and subscribe as always guys. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.